All right, we're back and we're taking your calls here at WEDE with your best memories of Shea Stadium. Next up on the line is Pete in Sunnyside. Pete, you're on the phone with Tone. Hey, Tony. I can remember my first game. Well, tell us all about it, Pete. I was five years old. My older brother's team was playing up at uh, Alex Park there up in uh, Bay Ridge. I was on swings all night, even scraped my knee. Well, that's a great story, Pete. But what about your Shea Stadium memory? Oh, you, you know, that's it. I, I know they play baseball at Shea, so it kind of reminded me of that. Okay, well, I guess Pete didn't quite understand what we're talking about here. Maybe Rick in Melville has a more relevant Shea Stadium memory. Rick, you're on the phone with Tone. Hey, Tone. When I think of Shea, I think of Todd Pratt. But, of course, for Todd Pratt, hit one of the biggest home runs in Shea Stadium history. But I'll let you tell the story, Rick. All right, for those that don't remember, Todd Pratt was a backup catcher one day. Then he didn't have a job anymore, and he started working as a pizza guy. Well, that, of course, is true, but uh, what about the home run? Rick, why don't you tell that part of the story? I mean, that's the gist of the story, Tone. The guy delivered pizzas, for crying out loud. That's insane. Okay, uh, I guess Rick forgot about the uh, game where Todd Pratt hit the series-clinching home run versus the Arizona Diamondbacks to send the Mets to the NLCS. Pizza, really, that's all Rick remembers. Okay, you know what? Whatever, let's see what Charlie in Floral Park has up his sleeve. Charlie, you're on the phone with Tone. Shea closing reminds me none other than Yankee Stadium, which is also now closing. You know, I was at Game 6 in 77 when Reggie hit those three bombs. An amazing memory, Tone. Yeah, well, that's great, Charlie, but that is a Yankee memory, and this is, uh, we're talking about Shea Stadium here. So do you have any Shea? No, I'm a Yankees fan. Of course you don't. You're a Yankee. Yeah, of course. Okay, uh, you know what, listeners? Now we have a special treat for you. Here's somebody that'll definitely have some Shea memories. He pitched there for 10 years, won a world championship in 86, amongst other awards. Listeners, please welcome the one and only Dr. Dwight Gooden. Hey, Tone. Back in 86, I pitched a two-hit shutout, struck out 16 versus Pac. Uh, uh, you had a lot of games like that, Doc. What was so memorable about this one? Well, you see, on my way out to the mound, the San Diego Chicken gave me a high five. Awesome memory. I love that mascot. Okay, um, that's great, Doc, but you realize that that was in San Diego. Could have been San Francisco. Tone, I'm not sure. No, it was San Diego. Are you sure? No, I... I'm positive it was San Diego. Any memories of Shea, Doc? I like seeing that big arch from the mound. Yep, that was St. Louis. Well, that green monster out in left field, that was a bitch. Boston. Doc, any memories of Shea where the Mets played their home games for 40... You can I pass on that question, Tone? Sure, Doc, you can pass on that question. No problem. No memories from Doc Gooden. Really? Fine, you know what? Let's just go uh, Let's go back to the phone lines. It looks like uh, Jeremy in Hoboken. Hoboken, great place, huh? Jeremy, for the love of God, please tell me you have a Shea Stadium memory. You're on the phone with Tony. October 25th, 1986. I think I can take it from here, Jeremy. Bottom of the 10th, the Mets down to their final out. Two runs down, Gary Carter singles, followed by Kevin Mitchell. Ray Knight cuts the lead to one, and then miraculously on a wild pitch, Mitchell scores the tying run. Mookie Wilson hits a trickling ground ball that goes right through Buckner's legs. The Mets go on to win the game and the World Series, and the stadium breaks out into absolute pandemonium. Now that was a Mets memory. Am I right, or am I right? Well, that was actually the day my son was born. When you said, Doc, it reminded me of the hospital and all. Anyway, he's a gym teacher now. Really? Seriously? Uh, is, is, this a, is this a joke? I mean, nobody remembers anything about Shay? Anything? Really? Nothing? You know what, Phil? Oh, Doc's... He has a story. Yeah, is it a Shea Stadium story, Phil? Is it a Shea story, something that happened in Queens, in Flushing? Very well. Doc, you're back on this the... This one time, me and Daryl did do coke off home plate. Oh, shit. That was actually Philly. You know what? I quit. I quit. I'm out of here. Fuck you! <laughs>